how to password protect a Google site website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to protect your Google website that you have created within another platform, which is going to be here of pro. So you are going to set up here a password protection for your Google website, and you are not going to leave anyone uh, here enter the website until they have the admin also the password so all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over sites.google.com then you are going simply right there to choose the website that you are going to set if you don't have a website yet i highly recommend for you to start creating a new website by choosing one of the template gallery or their templates or go ahead with a blank site and customize it how you want. So once you have did that, you're going simply to publish that website. So we are going back here to the websites that we have. For example, I'm going to choose a website like this one. I'm going to make sure that my website is already published and see if everything is running okay for the images and everything right there. As you can see, we have a, a Google a form set up. We are going to click on publish, make sure that we have everything set. As you can see, my website is not published yet. So we are going to set up here. Jax, for example, photography like that. And here, as you can see, it is uh, uh, already taken. So we're going to set up here a one. Let's see if it is available. Yes, it is. I'm going to click on publish and boom, here we have it. So we are going to click on view. As you can see here, we have the website. So we are going to get the link of the website, which is this one. Uh, copy it. Now we are going to head over right there, the, uh, the authpro.com. We're going to sign up for a new account. So you are going to choose here. I want to try free account. And for the second case, how do you want to set up your account? You're going to choose. I want to use setup wizard to configure my account. Now we're going to click on next. You're going to put here a, a username, for example, Jack, for example, photography like that as an example. And for the password, you are going to uh, set up uh, here uh, the password for your account. For example, like that, I'm going to type in a random password and repeat it one uh, time. So we are going to simply rather rewrite the password. And from there, you're going to type in a name, the email address that you are going to use, the website title, and here for the most important part that we have set up before, which is getting the website URL. Now for the language, you can go ahead and choose your language. Here, where did you hear about here at this Auth Pro? You can go ahead and set up here YouTube, for example, like that. And then you are going to click on create account. So the account is created by just these simple steps. We're going to click on proceed to set up wizard. So we are going to see here the options that are available. New member registration. So you are going to get here five choices. Either you are going to uh, here want the members to register for free and access the member area, which is going to be here the password protection page. If you want to the members to register for free and access the member area when they are verified by their email address or manually verify the members before they can access the members area or can go ahead and set that. Uh, I want members to pay to get access for my members area, which is going to be here a paid option for the users, not you. So also you can go ahead and uh, issue the login password for members manually, no self registration allowed and etc. So I'm going to type in this, click on next, and here are going to set up the name, for example, the email, the username, the password, and also the verification of the password. 
So you're going to type in here a name, for example, Jack. The email is going to be here, Jack Smith, like that, at email.com, for example. The username is going to be here, DG23 password. I'm going to put here a simple password for the sake of the video, like that. Also, boom, like that. And then we are going to edit or, or just set up the profile form. So I'm going to click on next. Your member area URL. So we are going basically to set up the same page as this. I'm going to set up here this page. So for the protected page authorization uh, failed URL, the, these are two cases that are optional in case that the website has failed to set up here or redirect to the uh, normal area. So hide the URL option. So we are going to use that. I want to display my own website address for member area. And if you are, are going to hide the member area right there, you are going to set up like that. I'm going to click on next. We're here you are going to set up the uh, username, for example, DG23. One, two, three, four, five, six. Email here you are going to type in this. And I'm going to click on next. Here we have set up the login form. So uh, you can add this link on your website to display the login form, for example. You can manage the members area and add the password reminder as here. And this is the uh, protect your members area pages. So you are going simply right there to copy and paste here the uh, code that you are going to embed right there. So I'm going simply to add this to this first page because I do want to add this to the first page or we can go ahead right there and set up another page. So I'm going to add here members area like that, click on done. I'm going to hide this, uh, for example, or let it like that. Now I am going only to add the embed block. Paste that, click on next, insert, boom, here we have it. So it is going to be like this. Click on uh, here, publish, publish again. So we are going to view our website, view published website. I'm going to view it. So normally it will take us directly to the members area. So like that, I think so here we are on the members area. So we are going to try and access the website. It will take us here to the page, but we have a page that is going to be here uh, protected. So we are going to type in here, maybe the, uh, uh, as you can see here, the username and the password and see if it will unlock. And here it has unlock and uh, redirect us to the page that we have set up from before. So we can go ahead and modify that. The you can go ahead and modify the settings of that, the login form and everything right there to set up the uh, members area right there to take them to another page. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.